Welcome, chosen one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Ace of Place channel. It has been a while, over a week at this point since my last Squint video. Been going through some rough shit, uh, as one does. <laughs> I'm combing my beard because that it soothes me. But yeah, it, it, it's been it's been not the best time to be me, and uh, my attempts at recording have been thwarted by the fact that uh, I wasn't quite feeling it, and uh, I was not enjoying it, and not doing a good job of it, <laughs> I guess, is uh, a nice way to, uh, to explain that. But today, I feel ready, I have a deck that I want to record with, and we're going to do it. We're going to play the Blue Stripe District. This is a Blue Stripes Commandos drug list. Uh, somewhat of a, of a, I want to say underplayed archetype. Like it, it's had its moments fairly early on, during Gwent Homecoming history, where this was like the shit. Uh, and and you, the deck itself still exists, in more or less the exact same way. It still has its insane strengths. Uh, but I guess it, it, ha it has fallen off the radar a little bit. But it's still a very cool deck. Of course, uh, the main combo is using Rosh Merciless, Queen Adelia, uh, Reinforcements, and Blue Stripes Scouts to create a bunch of Blue Stripes Commandos. And uh, these guys will pull each other out of the deck. And then use Princess Pavetta to shuffle all the Blue Stripes Commandos back into the deck. And using either Royal Decree or Roche Merciless, if you haven't spent him yet, to draw them. <laughs> that That's it? Not draw them. God. I, I say that's it as if I just nailed it, but uh, you get them all out. A lot of points. In a short round, I have been brutalized by this deck. Uh, in a slightly longer round, but also even in a short round. You can then transform everything with Draug, if you haven't already been forced to play him. And you have a bunch of Revenants. And we have Voimir, which will boost all copies of an allied unit. Which will either be a bunch of Blue Stripes, or maybe even more Kate Winnie Revenants from Draug. Uh, we're using the Inspired Zeal leader. Uh, just to ensure that we get the Blue Stripes commandos out. Uh, Roche Merciless can gain zeal if he kills something with his 2 damage. And uh, we have a lot of these cheap cards. You know, deal 2 damage, deal 1 damage, and then 2 damage. Uh, and also some protection. In case we can't gain zeal. Uh, just as means of trying to ensure that Roche Merciless... Merciless? Roche Merciless gets his zeal. So that the uh, zeal from our leader can be used to get the initial blue stripes out, to get the round three blue stripes out, and to play Selkirk. You know, Selkirk is a card that is really only playable in this. So uh, we're gonna use him for what he's worth. We also have Philippa for removal. We also have a boiling oil. Yeah, we good. <laughs> You guys know I'm not a big fan of the removal, but uh, sometimes you gotta have it. Uh, so I think we're just gonna jump into some gameplay, and I'm just gonna warn you. I'm a little bit out of it right now, like the whole Gwent playing Gwent, the thinking strategically thing. So I may make mistakes that I normally would be able to avoid. And also, this is a deck that I haven't played for months. And I have not practiced this time, because why would I practice? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, because that helps me not be an asshole on camera. That's fine. And our mirror match, but I'm guessing Uprising. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Well, 
the nice thing is we have we can have a brutal short round if we set up. Okay, so be because of like the damage and the death blow, Roche is easier to get value out of or to trigger the zeal in an earlier round. No, don't do this. We have a good hand. We have both Blue Stripe Scouts, which is really good. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to set up some Maulers. Until we can... I may just boost this and shield it. I'm gonna. So we're gonna use these maulers to set up a death blow. We're gonna get the zeal, get a commando, use the leader charge to get out the two commandos from the deck, and then we're just gonna start getting more commandos. So right here we have what is called a value play. By the way, Roche Merciless is one of my favorite designs in the whole game. I love Deathblow. I think Deathblow is a very underutilized mechanic because it, it, it allows cards to just have, you know, damage a unit by two. But you can really make it matter and instead of it just being damage something by two, it's like, ooh, set up something to be destroyed by two damage. And then you get an effect, like Zeal, which is a cool effect, or you can get something else. It's really cool. And of course, he spawns a copy of your bronze unit. You guys know I'm a sucker for having more than two copies of any given bronze. I love it. So we are really getting ahead here. Uh, we just need... To get all of these set up. Because obviously if, if my opponent had passed before I had played both scouts, then we would have been in, uh, in one of those cases where... You know, I, I can I can play the scouts later in round three when I get these dudes back out again. But it's better to just do it now and get it set up. We do take the round. <clears throat> and now we can basically use everything we want. <laughs> and just go for... Uh... Slightly shorter round three. So let's see what we have here. We have Pavetta. A lot of golds that we haven't drawn. I would like to draw some of those. Let's ditch the Ballista. Uh, at this point, he will get us a Voimir, which I don't want unless I Draug. Philippa is good. Philippa is really good. So we have Philippa, we have Boiling Oil, we have Selkirk, so we, we definitely have some removal to take out the most important threats. Which can be really important for getting us to a point where we don't die. Speaking of dying... He did that. <laughs> hammer now. Ask questions later. So we're just gonna hammer now and then ask questions later. That's really good. Wow, Alps. Ah. You only run Alzer's Thunder if you also have two of these, but you wanted more, right? And that scares me. Uh, we kind of have this as a proactive play, luckily. 
We have no way to use these this round, but that's fine. And it's six points, so if he just wants to Elser Thunder again, we could. Ah, That's nice. That explains it. That explains it. It's a Radia deck. That's a good card to get out of him during a bleed. Because that's not a card I want to see during a non bleed. He, he is punishing my bleed now, though. Like, I'm, I'm not getting my card back. I did not expect to get my card back. Although... There's a chance now. <clears throat> He gets three points from this, but he still needs seven points from his next card to be able to surpass me. And seven points, you, that's not easy. He has to commit something. And you know what I say about commitment? It's good. Not as commitment. It's also a fucking insane card. When you, when you give it a three boost and a shield. Uh, bleed! Ugh, I don't like that he's going to be able to keep all his charges. But that is what it is. Okay, that's one charge gone. I mean, we have Revenants, right? So there's really no point in spending any of this just to get a shorter round. No. Again, I'm really sorry if I'm playing this completely wrong. I just... This is not a tier 1 meta deck, okay? You don't see this all the time, so it's not... Incredibly obvious how you should play it. Okay, just give me a commando. Just a commando. Am I really not gonna draw it? Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is decent. I don't like this, but I don't want to. I want to break my commandos. That's how you lose. Okay, so we gotta think here. Is there a particular role we want these bad boys on? Don't think it matters. Alright, this helps. Wow, you uh, you really did that, didn't you? Well, I mean, what? He only killed one. Th that's pretty good for us. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> no! Oh, we just got Northern Realms. We just got Northern Realms. Holy shit! Oh my God. What is life? Okay, I don't know if this is any good. Oh, we got Ennard so hard there. 
Oh, Philippa into Falibor. Oh my god. Well, we have our own Philippa. Which is gonna do what? Ah, <laughs> nothing. Ah, it's gonna do something. It's gonna be nice. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. What fill up a target gives us the biggest chance? I mean, if, if I take one of these, it's really easy for one of them to get killed. I think Falibor is too big. So if I go with this... Oh yeah, that did nothing. Well, we still have this, that's an additional, and then we get just a random ping, which is also points. And he has spent Falibor, Philippa, Leader, Radia, and Says. Maybe we're good. That, that's weak. Oh no. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, you liked that, didn't you? You whore. Well, I'm not getting. He's, he's gonna have two damage from this. Is he gonna have more damage? I'm not gonna get the, uh, the extra revenants. I might as well just spend it in case he can kill it. Or at least, you know, this drives him away from killing it. And if all of these live, Voimir is still 10 points. Which is really good for a 7 provision card. Okay, so he, he killed that. That's fine. Bloody Baron. Uh, we're only gonna be boosted by... What's your base power for? Yeah, so nothing is going to be boosted by more than one, so this is not very good. So that Baron is only worth one extra point for him. Did we get him? That only has like three charges. We got him! We beat Uprising! A card down! That shows the power. The power! GG though. I was uh, on the... Metaphorically speaking, I was on the edge of my seat. Uh, if, if we're talking literally speaking, I'm actually squeezed all the way towards the back. Like, my butt is actually going a little bit up the backside. Like and subscribe for butts going up the back. <laughs> I'm back, baby. <laughs> oh, I just I just got a comment. Someone asking if I'm okay. There have been no videos during the whole week. Oh man, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised today, my friend. Oh, this is a good hand. A daily of both scouts and this. This is like the ultimate hand. The only thing is... Oh wait, he's here! <laughs> okay. Well, like I said, it's easier to trigger him round one and then just go for something else later. Oh, baby. So we don't really have any damage sources. But we have a lot of protection for him. So maybe we don't need the zeal. And I'm not going to royal decree for one of these. I'm just letting you know right now. I am not going to royal decree for those. 
I am not jumping in after you. But we're playing against guerrilla tactics, so this is uh Special prize. Just for you, love. This is gonna be some good shit. Ugh. Imagine if I had two damage. I should have rolled the creed for one of these, shouldn't I? I shouldn't have been so goddamn stubborn. I can decree for him and get boiling oil. John Attal is boiling oil. I do think it's safe. That's probably going to be an issue. Dark over I mean, we have removal for units like this. It's kind of bad not to use it, right? <clears throat> I mean, Adelia, your reinforcements, and both scouts. This is perfect. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna let you do that. If I do this, he's safe, right? If I do this, he goes into range of <laughs> Geralt of Rivia. No, he's safe. The only thing I can think of that will really deal with him is Heat Wave. Okay. This is like the perfect hand. Like, normally, when I, when I see Blue Stripes Commando decks, they don't usually go into reinforcements and Adelia. And I, I will admit that I originally did have Operator in this. And Hengate Sword. And Blue Dream. But I decided, you know what? I do want this to be playable. Whoa. I mean, that's not really that big of an issue. Like, if I... Just don't... <laughs> if, I, if I just don't summon the dudes... I mean, this guy can take a hit. From a dragon's dream. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, this is gonna die, and this is gonna die. How many are in here? Three? I'm gonna have room for that, I think. That's good, that's good. No, I'm not. Oh, she's gonna die. Oh, wait. Aha, we have this one that I can draw later. For more. I just restocked my row that was blasted by Dragon's Dream. Crushing Trap. And this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's just 14 points. It 
it's just 14 points, which makes takes me down to 22. So he's still gonna have to play his turn. He can't just pass. Please kill it. You did it in the least effective way, but you did it. So my thinking now is that you know, it's 14 points. But then I'm going to be able to get out this, so it's only 10 points. Because it allows me to get an extra 4 points. So, we good? <clears throat> Look at all these blue strips. Look at all these boys. We got five boys here, one boy in the deck and one boy in the yard. My man. <laughs> we got him. Do I commit Draug? I mean, we're, we're pretty far ahead, so I... Just do this. I'm really far ahead. Despite a full row dragon stream, a full row surrender, and then uh, a decent crushing trap, we're still going. Please tell me you have reaches in there too. <laughs> oh my god, that's a 10 point get out of the. I mean, there can't be more at this point. He doesn't run lacerate in this. <laughs> he doesn't run lacerate in this. Uh, one point off of this just being too good. He does have his leader, though. If I'm gonna lose on even... I'd rather have Durag in my hand, right? I mean, with, with his leader, he could have guaranteed taking this lead. And there's not much I could have done about it. Mm, yeah, so we just Pavetta. We draw one of them. <laughs> we have this. I think Drag is gonna have too many targets. I think this is why people don't go this extreme because then the Drag just kind of shits its own pants. That's nice. All right. Oh my god! I was scared there. Look at these boys. <clears throat> Look at those beautiful boys. So we have Selkirk on double cross. Very good. Very good. Father, no. Ask questions later. So we're gonna get full leader value. We're gonna have all of our best cards. Uh, being a card down. Might not matter. Yeah, you like that, didn't you? <clears throat> I 
I mean, I don't want to get crushing trapped again. But honestly, I think it's gonna happen. <laughs> All right, you made a non premium. That's nice. Yeah, this is not the best. It gives me a bunch of removal on my sticks, which is good. But uh, I also need to play South Kirk. On that row, so I can't I can't duplicate ever. So what I should do is play South Kirk now. So he will also become a revenant that gets boosted by Voimir. Fight me. Temeria. That is what matters. This is still eight points of damage that I just have sitting here. I can kill Paul Berger. All right. If they're not going to change bomb heaver, then I'm just going to kill Berja with my army of the undead. Yeah. I have demands. Operator, seven provisions, please. Dude, if you move my dudes, you're just gonna make me stronger. <laughs> Alright, he's not gonna do it. Hit me. I'm gonna be greedy because it's funny. If you just move a single revenant or draug without killing it. You're only adding to my strength. Yes. 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 Bye bye, Berger. I told you. Operator, seven provisions or die. Oh, it feels good to be a gangster. My draw glass fell you because I had too many boys. Oh my god, is it Regis? Because he can't, he can't set up a two, and most of my dudes have armor. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Is it enough? Can't be enough. Now with all this armor. So 
So I got dragons dreamed. On a big, big row. I got surrendered on a big, big row. I got crushed and trapped on like, on like a medium row. And then I got Regis on a full row that had one, two, and three. Thank you. I didn't know I had that, but that works out. <laughs> you know what? We had fun, and I think this deck displayed its strength. I think I displayed my stupidity. Uh, like honestly, like this golden froth, you never want it, but if only there was just another four provision unit in NR that could do some damage. No. Yeah, there's nothing. But that was fun. That that was fun. I I was worried that uh, trying to return to YouTube by playing a deck that I have no experience with. Uh, was was gonna maybe end up poorly, uh, but I had a lot of fun and uh, we, we got some we got some cool wins. Uh, definitely for sure. Um, tips for you if you want to play this, as you saw in the last game, uh, having too many commandos, like it can go either way because sometimes you're f you're forced to play Draug early. Like in round one. And... Uh, what am I trying to say here? If that happens, then you know having as many commandos as possible in round three is good. Uh, but if you do get to play Draug in round three... Uh, you know, having some open slots <laughs> can be good to, to multiply your command... Uh, your, uh, your revenants. Or you can just fill up the row with commandos and just have the removal. I mean, the drag did get value. I got eight points of, of removal out of that drag. Plus his seven body. Uh, plus that one extra revenant uh, from Selkirk, which gave Voimir one more point than he would have had if I just use it on commando so so Draug did pay for himself he did break even and more this is such a cool card like the card itself it's a 7 for 13 but you know you have the setup you have set up and oh I love it Roche Merciless and Draug are two of my favorite designs in the whole game so it was definitely fun to play a uh, a deck with both of those in it and use them both pretty hardcore anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it uh, i'm sorry that i was gone for so long i just uh, i took took a couple of days where i just said you know what i'm just gonna chill and then that turned into a longer unintentional break and then you know i just did had a rough few days and just getting back to recording is not that easy when you're not feeling good. You know, my content is about having fun, you know, being positive, being cheerful, and being woohoo, wacky. And that's that's hard when you're feeling really down. Like, I tried recording something on Monday and I just. I'm gonna be honest, I almost cried. <laughs> cause cause I was just so miserable sitting there trying to play Gwen, trying to make a video. It wasn't working out. Like I felt my commentary was lacking, the gameplay was lacking. And I just got so miserable and frustrated that I almost cried. That's how bad I felt that day. Today I'm feeling good though. Thank you for all the kind words. You guys have been really Really nice reaching out to me with your nice comments and messages. Uh, saying you miss me. And telling me to take my time. Hoping I feel better. Thank you so much. I, I, I feel very honored to be part of a community of such nice people. Uh, respectful. Kind-hearted people. Who just care about each other. 
And you know what? I, I care about you guys too. Like, I, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, if you need someone to talk to, you know, Twitter, Discord, I'm there. Or email, if, if you want that. You know, we're all just people in this world, and this world has gone crazy. Especially <laughs> this year. Oh my god. And we, we gotta look out for each other. And uh, you guys have been looking out for me in my absence this past week or so. And, you know, part of the reason I make videos uh, with with a, a wholesome, positive outlook on life is as a way to look out for you guys. Give you something to just sit down, relax with, enjoy, maybe crack a smile, bust it out. B bust it out. Bust a nut, if that's what you want to do. I was going to say burst out laughing. That's what I was going to say. Nothing about busting or nuts or anything. Anyway, sorry for rambling. Uh, it's been so long since I've gotten a chance to talk to you guys in a video, so of course I got a lot to say, but... Uh... Um, I will say one thing, though. Uh, there's a... A Faction Wars uh, community tournament being set up over on uh, my Discord server. Uh, I'm not part of setting it up. Uh, some A couple of awesome guys over there are are setting up the whole thing, taking registrations, and just keeping all the tabs. Uh, I, will, I will make a video properly announcing it and explaining it, but uh, if you, if you want to get in on it, uh, registration ends on June 1st. So just head over onto the Discord. We have a a, a tournament section, and uh, you can read all about it there, or you can just wait for my my video uh, promoting it. I just wanted to throw that out there because I'm I'm not quite sure when I'll be able to do this video. It better be soon because uh, it's almost June first. But uh, now you know. So if you watch this far, now you know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. I want to edit this. Get it out to you guys, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, have a good one. And I'll see you then. Bye. Ah, oh, yeah, your boy hadn't forgotten how to wave. This one's for you, Kevin.